Hi guys, so my name's Sean and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, today I'm literally going to show you how I created this look that I'm wearing right now. Okay, so let's get started. To get started, I am just going to apply my foundation. So the foundation I like to use is Revlon Colour Stay. I like to use two colours because sometimes I'm tanned and sometimes I'm not because I'm a fake tan addict and I basically will use this colour when I've got my fake tan on, this when I'm pale, like really pale because that's me. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just gonna mix them together. Okay, so when that's all mixed on the back of your hand like mine, I know it looks like there's a lot on there, but there's not. And start blending that in with a Real Techniques Beauty Blender, which is extremely old and extremely dirty, so please don't judge me. It's like ASMR. <laughs> oh dear. It sounds like I'm really like attacking my face, but I promise I'm not. I mean, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do, like what look, but I think we can just have a play and just see what happens. Collection Last Imperfection Concealer. I have it in zero, shade zero, extra fair. Okay, so now that my foundation concealer is all on, I'm going to go in with some cream contour. Uh, this, is, this palette is by Crown. It is the, it doesn't actually say what palette it is. CP10, I think. Um, but yeah, so I just like to take this colour here and I like to put it where I would contour slash bronze my face. So I'm just going to take this little brush, it's like a little flat brush, take a little bit of that cream contour and just start to contour my nose and then just going back in with that brush before, stipple brush by the way, um, just to kind of blend that in a little bit. Cream contour done. I'm going to take my little mini Laura Mercier powder um, in translucent. Now I'm gonna bronze. I'm just gonna take the Tarte, Tarteist Contour Palette. I'm gonna take these two bronzing colors. Um, they are shimmery bronzers as well because I have like quite glowy skin. So like when the sun hits me, I want it to be like, don't know. I don't know how Photoshop look, but like obviously it's not because you're in real life. <laughs> Using the same palette, I'm gonna take the blush on like this little angled, tapered, angled, yeah. Little angled like buffing brush. Just gonna put it on the back of my cheeks and blend up. Just making sure it blends into my bronzer as well. Just go back over with the bronzer brush. No harsh lines, we're not about the harsh line life. Unless we want them in the eye makeup, but that's it. And nose contour. Only exceptions. Right, I'm gonna go in with the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Taupe. I like my eyebrows, not quite dark. Well, yeah, quite dark, like considering that I'm blonde, but obviously not an actual blonde. The roots are really coming through this quarantine. But Bonnie, I miss you and I kind of need you right now. So I'm just going to draw a line underneath my eyebrow here and then draw one on top just defining the shape. Next we're going to go in with the Maybelline Brow Stain Pencil and Power Duo. And then the next one also has a spoolie at the other end. I don't know if I mentioned that. So I just use that to blend everything in, in my eyebrows. Okay, cool. That looks decent. What I'm now going to do is take the same concealer I used before and just plonk a little bit on the back of my hand and take a little flat brush, um, which does have sellotape on it because it's broke, but I don't like any other brush to cover up my eyebrows. So. We taped our back together. Don't judge me. What we're gonna do is very carefully carve out the underneath of the eyebrow. Just 
See, that just looks so much better. But blend it in, use your sponge, use a brush, use whatever you feel comfortable with, and then bronzer. Just attack your eyebrow area. Okay, so that is one eyebrow complete. Um, to me, they look really different, but they might not to other people, I don't know. Ever, anyone else will like that? You don't when you like take off your makeup and you just kind of look in the mirror and you think, wow, you're a catfish. <laughs> because that's me like every day. Mate, she is loved. She, the packet is like peeling off. I'm gonna go in the Maybelline Brow Drama Sculpting Brow Mascara in Transparent. Because I don't want to add any more colour, I just want them to stay. So yeah, that's one eyebrow. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one off camera and be back in a minute. Okay, so the brows are done. Took a sec, but they're done. So I think I'm gonna do something quite natural. I say that every single time and then I end up with like a rainbow on my eye. I want to do something that a lot of people can wear. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip into the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. I, think I just love it. I don't know what it is about this. It might be the smell of it, I can't lie. I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush, the shade Pure, this one here. Is it that one? Yeah, that one. And I think I'm just gonna put it all over my lid and blend it into my crease. I don't think I'm going to do anything complicated. I might use, I've got some new pigments, which I ordered out of the down boarding. If there's one thing that I would say spend a lot of time on when doing eyeshadow, it would be blending. Just blend, 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 blend. I have an idea. Shall I? Yeah, we're going to do it. This is me when I do makeup. I just like, can't stop myself from doing a million things. I'm just gonna take the Anastar oh wow, she is battered. I'm just gonna take the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I think I'm gonna take Warm Taupe, which is this shade here at the bottom, and just put it in my outer corner, ever so slightly, and my inner corner as well. I mean, that was kind of cute. And it's not really. I mean, with makeup, you've really got to like trust the process. <laughs> like, I promise, something nice will come out of this. I'm just going to take a flat brush um, and some of my concealer I used before. Again, on the back of my hand. I'm going to create like a halo eye effect. And we're done. <laughs> what I'm going to do now is create like almost like a cut crease but not really i'm just going to create like a slight arch at the top just bring it down to my lash line we're going to take another flat brush shocker and i'm going to go back into my sweet peach palette and i'm just going to take the shade luscious which is this gorgeous shade right here um, and what I'm actually going to do is spray my brush a little bit. NYX Matte Finish Mini. No. <laughs> NYX Matte Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. Give my brush a little spritz and then dipping into blushes. So that's all on my brush there. And I'm just going to put that exactly where we've put the concealer, making it wider on the top bringing it down, slightly blending it on each side. So you should have something that looks kind of like this. Um, I hope that you saw that and I will look back at that editing being like, Sean, you should not film with your eyes shut. Going back in with that warm taupe shade from the Modern Renaissance palette, I'm just going to slightly blend these edges together between the glittery shade and the outer and inner corners. What I want to do now 
is actually take a pigment and put it on top of that shimmer. So I'm gonna take Fang Fangulus, I think it is called, by Peaches and Cream. Um, it is a gorgeous goldy brown colour. I don't wanna like hold it, there we go, you can kind of see. So what we're gonna do is I'm literally gonna take it and put it right in the center of this halo effect. Like, do you see that? For lashes, I am using the TGH lashes in Zara, or Zahara, however you want to say it. Okay, so I've just got them in my tweezers, and I'm just going to use some duo glue. Mascara. Okay, so now I'm just trying to do my mascara without dropping this lash. Um, so I'm just going to cover my lashes really quickly. Thick and fast, high definition mascara. This should be like set now, but my mascara isn't, so I'm just kind of like stuck on what to do. <laughs> what I'm gonna do now is my under eye, my under eye, under my eye, <laughs> sharp, sharp. I'm just gonna take a little brush like this go in with that pure shade from Sweet Peach Palette and just take that all the way underneath my eye. I'm now going to do the other eye and be back in a second. Okay, and we're back. I also did just add some bottom lash mascara. Now that the eyes are done, I'm just going to spritz my face with some more of the setting spray and I'm just going to highlight my face using the MAC um, Whisper of Glit Extra Dimension Skin Finish. I'm just going to apply that to my cheekbones, cupid's bow, chin, the other side of course and my nose as well. I like to highlight like this bit of my nose and then the tip. also go in and highlight my brow bone. I do this after my eyeshadow because I know a lot of people be like, that's just gonna ruin your eyeshadow. It doesn't, okay? It just doesn't. And then I like to do just above my eyebrows as well. I think it's time for lips. I'm gonna use the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade Los Angeles. What I like to do, is I overline my lips slightly because I feel like I don't really have a top lip. So what I do is rather than have my cupid's bow, I just like straighten it out and then overline them slightly like that, but I keep my bottom lip pretty much the same. <sighs> Anyone else do this? I'm just gonna go in with the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Liquid Lipstick in the color Venus. Now to finish, last little spritz. I know I've already sprayed my face like this, but I'm gonna do it again. Ooh. Feeling like I've just been out in the rain. I think we are done. Okay, so this is the finished look, everyone. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. Um, please give it a big thumbs up if you did, and don't forget to subscribe as well. So we're gonna be down there. Also, click the notification bell, so that way you are notified every single time that I upload. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all very soon.